To find out what's being done to improve a busy intersection in Vinton. It's a follow up to a story we first brought to you last night. A teenager hit and injured by a delivery truck. Thanks for joining us first at 10. I'm Kathleen Stone and I'm Bill Waddell. Town leaders say plans are underway to improve that intersection. It's at Washington Avenue and Pollard Street in Vinton. Now we first told you back in October town leaders were planning to apply for grants from VDOT to make these intersections and crosswalks safer. WFXR's Eric Pointer is there live for us tonight. Eric, did they end up getting those grants? The town was awarded the grants to improve this intersection behind me and work has already begun. You can see here on the sidewalk VDOT has spray painted some of the design plans already for to make these improvements. It's etched out along the entire intersection now, despite the fact that the teen was injured yesterday. People that I spoke with today who use this intersection regularly say that these changes and improvements are coming better late than never. It's 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 horrible, man, like trying to cross the street. Chris Lawson says he uses the intersection of Washington Avenue and Pollard Street almost every day, and he wasn't surprised when he heard about the crash Tuesday evening. Stuff like that happens here, like it's a dangerous intersection, not just here, but all the intersections up this entire street. And he's not alone. Kim Draper works at the gas station near the intersection, and she's seen firsthand how some people struggle to cross. Because it is very dangerous. And the way people, you know, speed up and down this road, I mean, they fly up this road and down it. <laughs> but thanks to a grant from VDOT, the town's principal planner says it will soon be easier for people to walk through. The $121,000 grant will go towards adding things like a countdown signal, crosswalk paint, and curb ramps. My personal hope is for traffic uh, crashes related to pedestrian and cyclists to go down to zero for the town of Vincent. Uh, we hate to see this even happen once like it did yesterday. The work is something people are glad to hear is happening. Well, that's good. It should have been worked on a long time ago. <laughs> it's a good thing to know. Like, I, w I want it to be a lot safer, and I don't want to hear about any kids getting hit by trucks or buses or anything crazy like that. I mean, it's sad. Now, the improvements are expected to be completed by December of 2019, so December of this year. And the principal planner says that he is hoping that they can apply for more grants and continue to make improvements to different intersections around town in hopes of making it more walkable. Live and local in Vinton, Eric Pointer, WFXR News. All right, Eric, keep us posted on the progress. Thank you. Now, Vinton police telling us witnesses say the delivery driver is not at fault for yesterday's crash. Those witnesses told officers the teen ran out in front of the truck and there's no update on that teen's condition tonight. Officials at UPS did issue a statement to our newsroom telling us safety is their number one priority. They go on to say our drivers are trained to be aware of their surroundings at all times and to be among the safest drivers on the road.